Bit of a late start today. It's just past 9 a.m. Oh, he was so adorable. Please try again. Please try again. I look like a wreck, but I just got home. Let's see if the electricity works. Ah, it does work. Let's see if the fan works. Nope. No, it doesn't. That's the indicator that none of these outlets are actually delivering any power. That means that I still can't charge any of my electronics. It's now 3.20 p.m insane it's a little bit late but that's okay because my breakfast was so big because power is still down i might consider going back to the office afterwards it really depends on how much charge i have left on my laptop so i can keep working throughout the day very fortunately we actually do have backup generators the backup generator sometimes doesn't work and it turns off which was the case last night so none of the outlets were working none of the lights were working i do have my window open because it's incredibly hot today and so humid right now but the fan's not working it just puts into perspective of like first world problems like these are not issues that i have ever really thought about until coming to uganda you have a power outage for 10 minutes in canada everyone goes crazy about it here power outages happen on a very regular basis if you're unlucky they can happen every single day once the sun sets you have no more light in your house just some things to think about. It is now 4.30 in the afternoon, just finished lunch and it's actually 28 degrees. It's so hot, so sunny. It's like super pretty behind me. I think I'm just gonna sit out here and read a book for half an hour just to pass time. I'm finishing up Love and Other Words by Christina Lauren. And I started this book actually on the plane last week when I was flying here to Uganda and I really like it. If you like romance and heartbreak, this is, this is the one for you. This is my view for reading my book. How do you say no to this? You literally see birds flying everywhere. Usually how it works here with the schedule is that it's different every day. I'm not expected to be in the office, you know, nine to six every single day. Uh, sometimes the hours are really long. Sometimes it's all in the morning, which is exactly today. Like I went in at nine and then I 
left at three for lunch. Rest of my time that I have not needing to be active in the lab, I'm usually here in the guest house and sitting outside enjoying the sun. Actually, it is 11 p.m. and I was just going to take a shower. And then I remembered that the power hasn't been on the whole day, which means that the water heater is probably not running. I'm going to brace myself with this cold shower, but I'm going to head out and call it a night. Tomorrow will be a very, very early morning in the office, so I'm going to just get ready super quick and head to bed. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Okay, I'm in a bit of a hurry. I have exactly 15 minutes to get myself from this to office ready, and then I can rush to the office at 8 a.m. I always say that my makeup takes about five minutes to do, but I've never actually timed it. So I'm gonna time my makeup routine, skincare, everything, and see how long it actually takes. So Aha! 4.45 Hi goat! There's so many of them. <laughs> I left my charger here at the house, so I came back. I think I'm just going to do a couple hours of work, have an early lunch, and then at 1 p.m. I'm heading back into the office again. So let's go. Almost 1 p.m. I'm about to walk back to the office now for some work in the afternoon. It's so bright outside, so I'm gonna reapply my sunscreen. I actually bought this last year specifically for this trip. It's just the Shiseido sunscreen stick. So freaking expensive. I don't think I will ever purchase again. It does perform really well on the skin and I really like it, but honestly, too much money. The weather is so nice. It's so bright though. It does get very sunny and very hot, but it's always very breezy as well. So it's, you know, 29, 30 degrees right now, but I'm not sweating profusely. Got locked out. Mm. I'd like to take back everything I said about how nice the heat is here because it's not. It is so freaking hot outside.
I think what I'm going to do is actually go out for a walk. I always love taking either super early morning strolls or late evening strolls close to sunset um, just to get my body moving. I have about five minutes between now and my next meeting, so I'm gonna eat chocolate. This is dark chocolate from Ikea. <laughs> I don't know why I bought this. Mm. So one thing to consider if you work abroad or study abroad is that Personally for me, I still have to work with the people back in Canada, which means I'm working two time zones in one day. So my work day is nine to five in Uganda, and then I work from five to nine as well, taking meetings and calls with people in Canada. It's truly working nonstop. It's 11 p.m. I've been in meetings since 5 p.m. I can't think anymore. I don't know what I'm saying. I'm gonna go to bed. Today's plan is to go into the office by 9 a.m. and then I have to sit in some presentations and meetings for about two to three hours. So I'm thinking it'll take until lunch. I was gonna do my hair because I'm gonna be seeing some important board members. Power is out though, so this is the look. Running late, as usual. Hold on, hold on. Let me see if I have the cash today. Thank you. It's okay. Okay, just got home from the office. You know how I always say I love Wednesdays? I still love Wednesdays because my day is done. It's gonna be work from home. I can sit outside on the patio until the sun goes down today. I stopped by the shop, got fried cassava. I've always heard about cassava, but I've never really tried it. Hmm. It's actually not that bad. Really filling though, so I think I'm gonna save this for later. All right, I have a lot of work ahead of me today. I have about six hours until my meetings with Toronto. Power is actually still out in the house. It went out sometime last night and it still hasn't come back. So it's dark, you know, I can't turn on the lights. It's kind of gloomy and it's not the sunniest day outside, but that's my Wednesday. I'm very excited to relax.
I'm going to have the Simpson ball that I bought today. It's literally just a ball of sesame seeds. It's not too sweet. Very, very lightly sweet. Mm. Good morning, it is now Thursday. A little bit of a later start to my day. I can't believe time has gone so fast. Like, it's Thursday, my week is almost over. But I thought I'd show you something interesting, at least it's interesting to me. So I was doing my laundry yesterday and I needed to hang my laundry up to dry somewhere, but they don't have laundry racks. The clothesline outside is the way that people usually dry their clothes. You dry in the sun and it dries really quickly. But because I did my laundry so late into the day yesterday, my clothes were still damp. So what they do instead is actually just plop it onto your mosquito net. All my shirts, everything is just hung on here. I just have this fan facing all of my laundries and just going at it for like six hours in one day and everything just dries super, super fast. Well, I don't use mosquito nets in Canada, so I never knew that this was a thing. But honestly, kind of efficient because once my laundry is done, all of my socks and underwear I literally just like toss onto the mosquito net. I don't have to worry about fumbling around with clips, hangers, anything like that. Laundry is so fast here. <laughs> to the office now. I actually don't know how long my day will be today. Um, today's a little bit more variable, but hopefully it ends at a decent time. Ah, the goat is there. <laughs> Honestly, it makes my morning. I love that goat. Good morning. The locals think that I'm a crazy person talking to animals and saying hi to the goat every morning. It's just such a common occurrence here to have animals on your front lawn that they're nothing special, but I'm not embarrassed. The heat today is something crazy. About 30, 31 degrees right now. It's too hot even for me.
to film an outro for this video, and I thought, what better way to do it than in front of the cows? So here we are, end of the week. Time literally flies by so fast. If you enjoyed my little travel diaries and my studying vlogs, please let me know. And I also love seeing comments that other people leave saying that they're watching from different countries and it's just such a privilege to know that there's an international community that can gather so easily on a social media platform. That is my week. I didn't really get to do much work today, but it is Friday and people will stop working at 11 a.m. I think I'm gonna log off, go enjoy my weekend, and thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.